Hi, I'm Dr. Ben Newman. Uh, this is Ask Dr. Ben. I am a coronavirus researcher and I'm going to try to answer your questions. I say that a lot, don't I? <laughs> All right. Uh, first question for today is from Shirley. How you doing? Um, let's see. Hi, Dr. Ben. I live overseas. I have Hashimoto disease, which is a condition where you make auto antibodies like you your white blood cells will make antibodies that react against parts of you um, and so can I get an AstraZeneca vaccine good question yeah uh, doctor asked me to check if I have tendencies with blood clot um, is it necessary thank you yeah okay so what your doctor is thinking of are the Still preliminary, but reasonably good looking, I think, uh, results um, that suggest that complications are super rare with AstraZeneca. But when you get complications, it looks as though, from the little bit of data we have right now, those are very nice qualifiers, um, that they are associated with having particular autoantibodies against one special thing. So Hashimoto disease would not, it, it does not make those particular autoantibodies. The ones that are potentially the bad ones that can cause lots of blood clotting to happen at the same time, which is bad, <laughs> are uh, antibodies against a thing called platelet factor four, which is a thing that's uh, made by platelets, and heparin, which is a little molecule that kind of binds to that. And if you make antibodies that stick to the platelet factor four and heparin together, then the vaccine is going to generate enough of that complex that there is a chance that you can end up uh, progressing into um, uh, basically entire bloodstream blood clotting. Yeah, which is not good. Yeah, <laughs> survivable sometimes, but <laughs> it's not what you want. Um, but that's super rare. It's like a one in a million thing. And uh, I don't know that Hashimoto would make you more susceptible to that but there's a test that can be done and i think you would be a very good candidate for that test um but my opinion doesn't really carry any weight uh you're gonna need a referral from your doctor um to get this test uh so the test is it's called an elisa test I, I think they only make elisas for this one and it's for a thing called pf4 uh slash heparin so it's platelet factor four bound to heparin, and you're gonna look and see if you have any of these antibodies floating around right now. Without those antibodies, it doesn't look like there's any scientific way to say that there's a chance it's gonna hurt you. It looks as though the antibodies are, are at least our best, um, uh, best understanding for how the rare side effects happen. So yeah, you can get that test and you'll be okay. So it's an ELISA for PF4 uh, heparin. And um, yeah, uh, most reasonable size hospitals would have something like this. Uh, it's a thing that they need to use because heparin is something that they give um, when people have various blood clotting problems and come to the hospital. And this is a thing they can do to check if there's gonna be a bad reaction to it. So um, yeah, get it done. And then I think you're probably all right. Although, you know, very much, um, your doctor knows all the specifics and you wanna go with whatever your doctor's uh, recommendations are. Um, this is just the science picture and uh, the science picture looks clean as long as you don't have um, PF4 and heparin antibodies. So there we go. Thank you very much. This has been Ask Dr. Ben.